Hi, yogis. Here we are. We're going to do a little yoga for about 45 minutes. Thank you so much for joining in. Really excited to have you here. So we're going to start on our backs, bringing the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to open out wide. Oh, and just take a big breath in. And then exhale, fully open mouth, slide out. You can place one hand on your belly, really taking that breath in, maybe feeling a lift through that right palm if it's on your belly. And then exhale, let it go, sinking a little more deeply into your mat, letting go of the day, trying to tune in to what's going on with our bodies. And then start to bring that breath in and out through the nose. Observe how it travels across the back of the throat. You can either leave your hands, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, or maybe it feels nice to bring the arms up overhead, making a little window pane for your top of your head through to your shoulders. Just feel the side ribs expand on an inhale and a slight drawing of the belly towards the spine on an exhale. You can find perhaps a pause at the top of your inhale and then a pause at the bottom of your exhale, maybe staying empty for a breath, maybe staying full for a breath. Just cultivating some relationship, some acknowledgement of the breath here. This may be your first conscientious breaths of the day, so just pay attention. How does the breath feel? Does it feel like it could go a little more deeply? Does it feel like it needs some more time to find its pattern? See where you can release a little more. Acknowledging that you're here on your mat. Getting into your body for the next 45 minutes or so. If you close your eyes, blink the eyes open. Just reach the toes long out in front of you. Releasing your elbows if you have made that little window for your forehead or for your head. Reach those fingertips long. Reaching long through the left toes and the right fingertips, get a nice diagonal stretch. And then switching side toes of the right foot, reaching long, left fingertips getting long. Very nice. And then hug the knees into the chest. You can wrap the arms around the shins, rock from side to side. You can make little circles with the knees, one direction, and then the other direction. Just see what's going on across the sacrum through the lower back. And then we'll bring the arms out to a T and just gently drop the knees off towards your left. Just a casual drop, nothing too dramatic through the spine here. You can take your gaze over towards that extended right palm if you like. Just feeling how the side waist gets a little more room to expand here. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, draw the knees back up through the, towards the ceiling and dropping them off towards the right side, gaze towards your left hand. Feel that left, lamp, left lung expand. And then draw the knees back up towards the ceiling, give them a nice little hug. And then we'll extend those legs long again. And feel the toes reach, feel the fingertips reach. And then just lift up the head Look towards your toes and feel your belly switch on as you lift the heels up off the mat. And reach long. We're doing a really low boat here. And then exhale, bring it back down. So feel what needs to switch on. You can lift the chest up, feel the shoulder blades reach away from the mat. And then switching on the belly, switching on the legs, lift the heels away from the floor. Good. And then lower heels back down, head comes back down. One more like those. Feel the chest lift, belly's engaged, stay lifted, and then the heels lift, good. And then reach long, opposite direction. And then exhale, hug everything in. You can release the head to the floor. 
good. So we've turned on the front of the body. Let's use that to come on up to a tabletop position. Maybe a little hang time here on the sitting bones before you find your way into all fours. Hands spread underneath the shoulders, knees, directly underneath the hips. And we'll come in through a couple rounds of cat-cow. So finding cow here, drop your belly, feel your tailbone lift, feel the chin lift as you open up through the front of the body. And then use the energy of pressing into the palms as you dome your back towards the ceiling, chin to chest, exhale. And make this work for you. The length of your inhales determine how long you hang out in your cow. The length of your exhales determine how long you hang out in your cat. But use this slow, deliberate breath to really feel that articulation through the spine. Building that body awareness through the breath. Good. And then we'll come into a little spinal twist here. So right arm is going to reach up. And then thread the needle as the right hand comes behind the left. And you can come up onto your left fingertips and help spin those right ribs under. You can take it a little farther if you like and reach the left leg back behind you. Keep the toes on the mat for this first part. And stay here pressing that left heel away. If you want to come into a half bind, that left hand will tuck into that right hip crease. Maybe you want to test your balance, test your core here, and lift the left leg up off the mat. Yeah, it's okay if you fall over. Just jump right back in. Maybe taking it one step further and bend up through that left foot. Yeah, here's where it really gets tipsy. <laughs> and reach those left toes up towards the ceiling. Getting a nice little quad stretch, back bend, left shoulder opener. This pose has got it going on. And then re-extend the left toes back. Left hand comes down. Unwind our twist. Inhale. And then right hand comes down. Let's take a few cat cows, lengthening out the side body as we emphasize that inhale. And then feel that really nice reach through the thoracic. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. We're just breathing and moving. That's all yoga really is. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. We'll take that thread the needle to the second side now. Find those right fingertips propping up to give you a little more space to send the left ribs under. And take the stretch to where you want to go today. Feel your belly switch on though if you're going to take it into the balance portion. As soon as we start to take limbs up off the mat, we really have to switch on through our center body. You can take it into a half bind or catch hold of that right foot. Ooh, kick on up. Maybe that right knee comes a little more into the midline as you send the toes towards the ceiling. Very nice. And then slowly release through that. Uh, feel stable when you have more points on the mat. And taking two rounds of cat-cow here. Good. And then we'll come into a neutral spine. Feel the belly draw in, come up onto your tippy toes and just hover your kneecaps up off the mat a few centimeters. Good. Feel the lower belly engage here to do that. And then bring the knees down, uncurl through the toes so the tops of the feet are on the mat, and then press into the tops of the feet. Nice little ankle stretch core work here as you lift the kneecaps up off the mat. Good. And then from here, curl the toes under, send the hips high. Keep a soft bend if you need to as we warm up in our downward facing dog. So pedaling out through the shaking out through the head, really using your first downward dog as somewhat of a diagnostic to see what's going on in the body this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, whatever time you choose to practice. Good, and then we'll walk the hands back towards the feet, really emphasizing that nice softness through the thigh or through the knees as we drape our body over, grabbing opposite elbow here, really swaying from side to side. Maybe switching up the crossing of the elbows. We tend to go to a dominant side, so just keeping it different. Good. We'll take an interlaced grip behind the lower back, looking up through the front of the shoulders. Palms can stay together as we reach the knuckles up overhead. Shake out the head, yes. Shake it out, no. Good. And then bring the hands back to the lower back. Just switch up the grip. And then you'll really notice you go to a dominant side for that clasping. Good. 
feels very funky. And then release through the hands. We'll keep that right fingertips down. Keep a nice soft bend through that right knee. Left leg extends towards straight as we lift the left arm up. A little twist here, maybe a little IT band stretch along that left leg. Maybe take the gaze up to those left fingertips, but always honor where your neck is. See how that feels on a daily basis. Don't want to strain that. Left hand comes down, left knee bends as we send the right arm up. Right leg come towards, comes towards straight. Ease that left hip back as we bring the right hip forward. Feeling the stability through the hips as we twist. Good. And then release that down. Pad your fingers back towards the top of your mat and find your Adho Mukha Svanasana Downward Dog. Good. Anchor down through that thumb and index knuckle of your hand so you're not dumping too much weight into the pinky edge. So really stable through the wrists. Good. And then we'll lift the right leg up back behind us, bend through the knee. Yawn open that right side of our body. Bring a little more weight into that right hand so once again you're not leaning everything onto that left pinky edge side of your hand. You can circle out through the ankle, you can circle out through the hip here. Feel that nice stretch through that right hip flexor. Right leg is now going to square off, so both hip points are pointing down. Look forward in between your hands, and you'll lightly step that right foot in between your hands. And then send the left knee down towards the mat. Feel a nice um, lift up through the framework of your shoulders here. Keep your belly engaged, lift the fingertips up, and reach them up towards the ceiling. Good, Anjayasana. Inhale here. And then we're going to bring the right hand back behind us, left arm shoots forward, ease a little more into that right knee, opening up through the left hip flexor, good. And then inhale, right arm lifts, exhale, hands come down, keep the left hand down, curl the left toes under, and we'll twist open again to that right side, lifting long through the fingertips of the right hand. Right hand comes down, belly is engaged, just step the right foot back to meet the left. Lower down onto our knees, chest, chin, come all the way onto our bellies. Very nice. We'll press just a little bit of weight into the hands as we peel the chest up. Baby cobra here, inhale. Exhale, come on down. Now take your fingertips off the mat and find a little more freedom, maybe a little more space with this uh, width through the shoulders to come up a little higher. Exhale, coming down. And now bring them back in and just notice how where your arms in are in space, how that really can determine your back bend length. Good. And then curl the toes under, send the hips back towards the heels. Get a nice little stretch through the soles of your feet, through your Achilles, before sending your hips up high into your downward facing dog. And breathe with a little more length towards the back of the body, easing the heels down. Left leg is going to lift on an inhale. Find that delicious left side opening. You can circle out through that ankle. Feel that left hand getting some weight, so you're squaring off through the shoulders. So you can circle through the knee, through the ankle. Good. Just see what's going on on this side. And then extend the left leg now. Left hip points down as well. Looking forward in between your hands, you're going to lightly step that left foot in between your hands. Come high onto your fingertips as you ease that right hip down. And then inhale, lift on up. Good. Exhale, left hand is going to come back, right fingertips reach forward. Don't lose the bend in that front leg. See if you can find a little more easing, a little more weighting of that right hip down. Good. Inhale here. Exhale a little more. Fingertips rise on up, inhale. Exhale, right hand is going to come down. Lift up through the right knee and find your twist. Reach, really nice, inhale here. And then exhale, left hand comes down, belly stays engaged as you step the left foot back to meet the right. And lower down through Chaturanga if you're ready, looking forward, keeping your elbows hugging in, or you can always use your knees to come on down to your belly. So we'll take those three gradual back bends. Inhale, very little weight in the hands so you can really feel those erector spinal muscles working. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, maybe a little more space through the shoulders, a little deeper back bend, protecting your lumbar by not dumping everything into your lower back. And then containing it a little more, maybe a little more weight in the hands. Inhale. Exhale, come on down. And curl 
the toes under, lift up through the kneecaps, maybe reverse chaturanga or bend up through the knees, send your hips towards your heels, like we did in that first one, but leaning back in downward facing dog. Shake out the head, yes. Shake it out, no. Really nice. Right leg lifts on the inhale, bend up through the knee, send that hip open square towards your right side wall. We extend the right leg back behind you. And we'll just do a little tiger curl here, knee coming to nose. Inhale, send that right leg back. Right knee to right tricep. Use your belly to keep that kneecap lifted, good. And then send it back. Find a little crossing over. Right knee to left tricep. And then send it back. Step that right foot through. Come on down to our left knee. Inhale, rise on our Vanjayasana. Exhale, right hand reaches back. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, left hand down, left kneecap lifts. Right arm, inhale up. Exhale, hand comes down and flow through your vinyasa. If you're ready for your upward facing dog, then you would send your shoulders back, lifting up through the heart. Rolling over the toes, downward dog. Always welcome just to keep it into your cobra and meet the back. Always working to your, your level, whatever that may be for the day. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, let that belly help bring the knee in towards the nose. Inhale, get expansive, and then feel that contraction, that nice lift up through the core, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. And send it back. And then we'll send the left foot in between the hands. Come on down to that right knee. Reach on up. Open up through the front body here onto that little core work. And then find your twist. Exhale, left arm back, right arm reaches forward. Inhale, send the arms high. Exhale, right hand down. Send the left arm up as you lift that right knee down. Good, left hand comes down, and we listen for the change when we step the right foot forward. Find a halfway lifting hand. Exhale, fold it in. Reach the arms up overhead. Take all that in, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Just close down the eyes. Notice what is going on through the body. Maybe a little more energy pulsing through the body. And then we'll add on to our flow. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back. Stay lifted. Rise on up, crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, left arm comes back. Right arm reaches forward. Good. And then take this shape. Just bring the right arm down. Left arm reaching up. Good. And then we're going to spin onto that right baby toe edge of that left, uh, right foot, and bring the left foot into the midline for your Vashi Stashima, or you can stack the left foot on top of the right. Inhale, reach those hips high. Good, left fingertips can come over and frame that left ear. Good, side body balance here. And then we'll maybe lift the left leg up. Stay here if you like. You can always come down to a knee or tap elbow to knee and reach it long, whoa, elbow to knee. This is definitely not sneaky core, this is overt core. Exhale, elbow to knee, extend it long, and flow through your vinyasa. Vinyasa almost feels like a little bit of a break after that. Really nice work, everyone. And breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, side out, maybe a little flutter of the lips. Good, look forward towards your hands, walk your feet up towards your hands, find a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold it in. Rise to stand, arms up overhead, and we'll take it right back down. Exhale, folding. Find a halfway lift, inhale. This time it's the left leg that steps back. Rise on up, crescent lunge, inhale. Right hand comes back, left arm reaches forward, inhale. Good, very nice. Inhale, reach on up. 
left hand comes down, right arm reaches high towards the ceiling. So feel a nice firmness through that left leg as we swing on over. And here's your variation. You can stay here to offer support. You can even come on down to that left knee and come into our little crunches here. But if you're joining me in your Vashistasana, feel the hips lift. It's okay to be a little wobbly. If there's any soreness in the wrist, you can drop on down to a forearm. Right arm reaches up, maybe right leg reaches away from the left. And then three crunches here, exhale, inhale, get long. Exhale, tap elbow to knee, inhale, long. Exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, long. And meet us in downward facing dog or flow through your vinyasa. Really nice work, everyone. Breathe. We'll take a little child's pose, just so you know it's available to collect your breath, to connect with your breath. Breathe. You can turn your forehead from side to side. If that was a little tough on the wrist, you can make little fists and little circles here. Good. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog when you're ready. Right leg is going to lift. Draw that right knee in towards the chest. Come on up, crescent lunge in the hip. Adding on. So right hand reaches back, left arm reaches forward, and then come into a little bit of a reverse warrior as you grab the outside of that left thigh, reach long and up through that left arm. Good. Exhale, left elbow is going to connect outside of right thigh. Palms come to Namaste as you spin those left ribs under. Good, breathe. And we're going to unravel here into a warrior two. So opening up through our lunge, inhale, and then exhale. Left heel comes down. Find that heel to arch alignment. Rounding down through the feet. Right knee is tracking in line with the right two toes. And gaze is soft over the right finger. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Don't lose the bend in that front knee. And then windmill the hands down. Step back through to your vinyasa. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Really nice. Breathing in. Breathing out. Left leg lifts, inhale. Step that left foot through, rise on up on Jayasana Crescent Lunge. Left arm now swings back behind as we reach the right fingertips forward. Good. And then that left hand can come to the outside of that right thigh. Reach up through the right fingertips, get a nice little back bend here. And then we'll take it into a twist. The right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. And feel that opening through across the collarbones as you spin your chest up towards the ceiling. Good, one more inhale here. And then exhale, unwind, and we'll find our warrior two. Right heel comes down, open up. So feel a release through the shoulders, a nice grounding through the legs as you feel that lift up through the torso. Good, flip the front palm, find your reverse inhale, and then exhale, windmill it down, through your vinyasa. Good, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. And breathe. Look forward towards your hands, walk your feet up towards your hands. Find a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Sink your hips and find your Utkatasana chair pose. So weight is in the heels, you can see your knees aren't tracking over your toes, so really sending the hips back in space. We'll bring our hands alongside our body and come high up onto our tippy toes, draping bird. Good, breathe. Stay high and lift a nice little balance challenge here. Good, hands are gonna come back to our heart as we drop the heels down. Good, left elbow is gonna come outside of right thigh and find your chair twist here. Good, bringing out those internal organs. 
and then look down at your left foot, bring the weight into the right foot, and draw that left heel in towards your glute as you send the left leg back, coming into a crescent or twisted crescent lunge. Good, inhale here. Exhale, breathe. We were here before, inhale, come up through crescent. Exhale through your warrior two. Inhale, find your reverse. And then windmill the hands down and flow through your vinyasa on breath. Let that upward facing dog fill you up with an inhale and then hips to the ceiling, belly empties as you exhale the downward dog. Breathe. Look forward towards your hands, walk your feet towards your hands. Find a halfway lift in here. Exhale, close your eyes. We'll sink down into our hips, find our chair pose, inhale. Taking this to a balance as we exhale, teetering on the tippy tippy toes, lift through the heels like drinking bird here. Good, hands come to heart as heels drop down. And then find length through the spine and take that with you as you twist right elbow outside of left knee now. Good, think about that right hip coming back in space, left hip forward. And then we'll keep transitioning to our twisted lunge here. So weight comes into the left foot, right heel she aims towards that right glute as we shoot it on back into our twisted crescent lunge. Inhale. Really nice, everyone. Think long line energy through that back right heel. Unwind here, crescent. Open up as you exhale to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Meeting the downward facing dog. Very nice, everyone. And breathe. Shake out the head, yes. Shake it out, no. Good, look forward towards your hands. Walk your feet in between your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Rise on up to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. So we'll just do a little bit of balance work. Come into the core and then unwind class. Wind down. Draw, draw the energy from the floor into that left leg, really feeling that left kneecap lifting. Interlace your hands in front of that right shin bone. Flex through the right foot. Good, inhale here, get length through the crown of the head. And keep that right knee lifted as you send your fingertips up. Good, hands come to heart center now. Left knee, or left hand outside of right knee, and then take your gaze towards the back. If you want to turn this up a notch, you grab the outside of that right foot and come into a twist here. Good, breathe. Strong through the standing leg. You don't have to straighten out through that front leg, clearly. And then unwind your twist. Keep that right knee hovering. Reach up, get long through the side waist. And then exhale, bring it back to standing. So I'm not sticking you to he. Second side. So draw the left knee in towards your chest. Even interlace a different way here. Just see if you can break that habit of always going the same way. Flex through that lifted foot and feel that right glute knee really switching on to keep length in that right side body. You're not dumping into that right hip. Good. And take your, uh, we're gonna reach the arms up here or we just come into a twist, that's right. Left fingertips reach back, maybe gaze reaches back. If you want to play around with extending through that lifted left leg, you can do that. Have a sense of humor about this. It's really just standing on one leg, twisting, looking backwards. There's a lot going on. Breathe. And then unwind your twist. Let's reach everything up, get long through the side waist. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll flow onto, our, onto the mat. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, let's come all the way down to our belly. Lowering down in Chaturanga for five, four, three. Come to your knees if you need to. Two, two, 
two, two, two, two, one, <laughs> and you're down. Very nice. We'll take an interlace grip behind the back and just release through the shoulders here. Get a little lift. Feel the toes press down. See if that energy can help you lift a little more. Maybe one more low breath. Very nice. And then exhale. Come on down. Let's just make a little pillow with our uh, hands for our forehead, and you can just windshield wipe our, the knees from side to side. We'll try that again, taking a different interlace grip, and we'll throw in the legs here. So feel the chest lift and feel the toes reach back and feel yourself on your hip bones, maybe a little more lift through your front ribs, maybe a little more lift through the thighs. Good, breathe. And then exhale, let that come down. And once again, just windshield wipe with the knees from side to side. Good, we'll come into Dhanurasana bow pose, or yeah, bow pose. So point through the toes and grab just below the toes. And notice if your knees need to come really wide, see if you can bring them so they're more in line with your hips. And let the inhale help fill you up and allow for that lift. You're breathing into the back of the body, but you're really using the energy of the legs to hoist the front of the chest open. Inhale here, exhale. Maybe a little more lift up the toes, and then let it go. Ooh. Let's press ourselves back into child pose. Getting a nice counter pose here. You may feel a little more space through the spine. Let the body absorb that. Good. And then we'll come onto our seat. We'll bring the left leg out long. Actually, we'll do the other. Right leg will stay long, so I can show this side. And the left foot is going to come um, in front of that left glute. So feel nice and strong here. We'll come into a gentle twist here as that right arm is going to wrap in front of that left knee. You can do a little clasping of the hands just to feel as if you're spreading through the collarbones as you twist. That will hopefully give you a little lift through the crown of the head as you look over that left shoulder. Good, breathe here. And then we're going to lean back, and as we lean back, we're going to take that shape of the left foot off the floor, right foot off the floor. So think about sending your chest forward here. Great, and then we'll come into that little twist again. Kind of imagine how we were when we were in our standing postures. So left arm reaches back. If you want to come and take a little more extension through that left leg, you'll reach the heel away. Sit up tall, nice core work here, balance work. Breathe. Good, and then bend up through the left leg, right leg comes down. We'll take another little bind here. Left arm is going to reach up and come in front of the left shin bone. And find a little wrap here as the right fingertips may clasp the left and fold yourself forward into my um, to temple. Um, I'm forgetting what this one's called, but forward fold with a nice little half bind. Breathe, flex through those right toes and fold forward. Good, and then release that. And we'll just take a little twist core work to the second side. So bend up through that right foot. Bring the sole of the right foot down, left leg extends long. And just take your little twisting action here. Feel that squeezing of that uh, left elbow into that right knee to help lift up through the heart as you take your gaze off towards the right shoulder. Good, breathe. A little taller through the crown of the head, maybe a little more reach through the upper back as you twist. And then we'll take that interlace grip in front of that right shin. Lean back, but don't shrunk back. Think length through the front body as you lift the limbs away from the mat. And then holding on to that left knee, right arm twists back behind us. So stay lifted through your sternum. And then maybe catch hold of the outside of that right foot to balance here. Lift a little bit more, extending through both heels. 
and then left leg comes down, right foot comes down. We find our forward fold here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take the bind. Or you can just grab clothing or strap might be helpful and fold forward here. Breathe. And then release. And take your time coming onto your back. Maybe you want to make a little core work here. Just slowly rolling back down. Good. And then reach your arms up overhead. And just like we started, reach long through those right fingertips through the left toes. Reach long through the left fingertips through the right toes. Good. And we'll draw the knees into the chest, little circles one direction, and then through the other direction. And here we'll come into our twist. So this time we'll do a little wrapping of the legs. So we'll take the right leg over the left and just shimmy the hips off to the right a little. Arms can come out to a T as we drop the knees to the left. And just notice where your shoulders are in space. Sometimes you need to untuck that left shoulder blade. And gaze can come over towards the right. You can bring that left hand to that right thigh to help ease through the twist. I like to kind of use that hand to press away that right femur bone just to give a little more space along that left side waist. Breathing here. You can close down your eyes as we start to wind down. Good. One more inhale. And use that action of the belly drawing to the spine to bring your legs back up through center and just switch the crossing of the legs, shimmy the hips off to the right, uh, left as you drop the knees to the right. And see what's happening with that right shoulder blade. We can give you a little more space. Right hand can help with the twist a little if you like. And breathe through that left floating rib and that left hip space for one another. One more inhale here. And then exhale, unwind your legs. Bring them up towards center and hug the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. We can come into happy baby from here, just feeling the tailbone lengthen down. And if you need to lift the tail to get the feet, and you can't ease the tailbone back down, then perhaps just grab behind the knees. Just the length of that tailbone dropping down. Maybe you can rock from side to side, getting a nice little massage into the QL, to the kidneys. If you want to reach long through that right heel, extending that away from you, you can switch sides and reach long through that left heel. Maybe both heels reach away. Maybe a nice little stretch through the adductors. And I invite you to take whatever posture you'd like to set up for your Shavasana. If you wanted to do shoulder stand, if you wanted to come into a full back bend, but if you are doing a posture that requires a counter pose, please honor your body and do that. Otherwise, Finding your full resting position. If that means putting on socks to get cozy or a blanket or you want to bolster, I invite you to do that. But just find your feet dangling away from your hips. Feel the full support of the floor beneath you. And just taking up this space as a time to surrender. Your breath. Let's go of its control and just returns back to its natural cadence. There's a softness through the entire layers of the body. Here's where we're receptive. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me. I think you have a wonderful day. Namaste, my little yogis.